the party's designee and our nominee, Governor Kathy Hochul. And with that, Governor Hochul became the official New York Democratic nominee for governor. I'm also proud of receiving 85% of the vote in this room. The convention hall was filled with top Democratic leaders from across the state, both past. We must reject the big lie about the 2020 election and the cover-up of the insurrection of last January 6th. And present, including both United States senators. I love New York. I love representing New York as Senate Majority Leader. I'll love it even more when we pick up two more seats. It's an honor to be a New York Democrat. Look at all the leaders we have fighting for us, our values, our families, our priorities, and for a future. We also saw prominent New York City leaders like Mayor Eric Adams. And let's build a stronger, equitable state for the state of New York. And Brooklyn Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, a rising star in Democratic leadership who gave a rousing speech. We put a Democrat in the State House, we keep a Democrat in the White House, and the Republicans stay in the Dog House. God bless you. God bless the New York State Democratic Party. But not on the stage were the two other men who hoped to be governor. Both Long Island Congressman Tom Swasey and New York City public advocate Jamani Williams only got to make private pitches to fellow elected officials before things got going. Each seemed to know this is how it would end. Well, we knew that the, the way the parties run, it's really about incumbency protection. So this is, this is all pageantry for the incumbent. That's life in politics. These things are kind of predestined ahead of time. Uh, I'm very excited about running. I'm going to continue my race. I'm going to get on the ballot. As you just heard, neither Williams nor Swazi conceding. They will have to petition to get on the ballot. Another controversy that was quelled today. Congressman Richie Torres pointed out yesterday there were no Latino speakers on the lineup. There were unannounced speakers, including Brooklyn Borough President Antonio Reynoso, who helped introduce Senator Schumer. That seemed to kind of help that controversy die down for some of those who were, frankly, a little bit offended that that was, seemed like it was going to happen.